What's up guys and gals, Danny Lightning back with another video. Today we are checking out the brand new Ultimate Ion Weapons. These went live on the game. We are going to hop on the Battle Rec account and we're going to load every robot except for one up with Ultimate Ions and we're going to see if these things are any good. Now, you may have played these on the test server, but the test server is the test server. It's not the live server. They're two very different things. You can't really judge something by the way it was on the test server. The test server is there for testing, figuring out what they want to do with it when it does go live. So once it goes live, that's the real deal. Never judge anything by the test servers. I'm going to go ahead and choose two games that I think really represent the weapons well for how they actually perform. I mean, I had a couple of games where I was going up against squishy people and I annihilated them. That wasn't realistic, right? But on my channel, you're going to see real gameplay. You're not going to see I walked all over a bunch of squishy people and now I look like an awesome player. My channel is about showing you what things are really like. Enough babbling. Let's go ahead and get to it and get to a game but first if you happen to buy anything over on the warrobots web shop use author code danny lightning all lowercase in one word at checkout that'll help support my channel and you might even get lower prices there's a link to the web shop in the video's description and it looks like we've got the big old giant horrible yamantau map but the good news is i think this one is a team death match so i just went ahead and played quick match I've been trying this out on these out on different game modes we tried them on free for alls we tried them on uh beacons we try them on team deathmatch and they seem to do good on pretty much everything we're melting that guy right there all right let's go ahead and land oh they emp'd me this is not good Ooh, that was a good shot so i mean as you can see these 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 take down shields and then do damage after the fact so yeah these are pretty decent guys i mean they're not like the craziest weapons i've ever played but they're hitting really hard they're doing a lot of damage per shot i like them i mean I do like them. They're they're nice weapons so far. They're very nice weapons so far. All right, let's go ahead and zap that guy. We'll see you later. Bye bye, sir. Let's fly on over to the right hand side. And like I said, when you're playing a Fafnir, you got to be really careful, right? Look how much damage I started taking in the ball. On the ground, you've got nice amounts of defense points and stuff like that. But when you're in the air, you are very very squishy. Ooh, that did some really good damage to that harpy. I mean, harpies are pretty tough when they're in the air. They got a lot of defense points. Right now, somebody else is shoot. What is that? All right, I need to go up in there before I die. Really quick, purple shield. There we go. Zap. Dead. All right, let's get this guy. Da -da 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 die, Mr. Red Guy. All right, come on, come on. Take him out. Rampage. Nice, nice. All right, let's go after this dude right here. Ah, uh, we got the godlike. We're, we're taking care of business on this one. We are taking care of business. These are doing some nasty, massive damage on this game, and I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to look at the scores. If if these people are squishy, I'm not gonna post this one. But if they're all champion players, I'll end up posting the game. Or you know, I don't wanna. I don't wanna show you the the games where I go up against the squishy people because you know if the matchmaking wasn't good, that's not a fair assessment of the weapon. All right, let's go ahead and zap this guy. Bam, living legend. Let's go ahead and land because our shield's down and we're taking huge amounts of damage. Ah, oh, there's a Shen Lao attacking me. That's, an, oh, oh, our, my robot died. All right, let's bring in Mr. Typhon. We're going to run all the way back over there. Right now, I wish I would have put the speed, speed skill on this thing because, man, we're slow. We're slow. We're very, very slow. All right, that guy down there, is that a Titan? Ooh, let's see what this thing does to the Titan. Okay, unfortunately, that Titan went into that ability where you can't shoot him. He turned invisible on us. All right, we took almost all of that guy's health with one shot right there. Here comes that dumb Shin Lao, man. Get your little grasshopper buttocks out of my face, you little turd sandwich. All right, see you later, Mr. Mr. Guy. See you later. Wouldn't want to be ya. See ya. All right, there's a Fenrir, right? If you noticed, it did pretty decent damage to the Fenrir, but it didn't kill him. It, ooh, we one-shot killed somebody there. The squishy robots, though, these will one-shot squishy robots. Strong robots, it'll take several shots, so. Ah, there's that turd bag again. We're having a hard time getting through his shield for some reason. Ooh, we got him. That was another lag kill right there, I think, so. I don't know, the game does lag sometimes. We got a new update today, and ever since I've been noticing lag kills. It doesn't really feel like I'm lagging when I'm playing, but what I notice is, you know, you shoot at somebody, and 
two seconds after you're done shooting them, then they finally die from the shot, or maybe a quarter second later. So there definitely seems to be some weird lag or damage delay going on, but... Oh, look, there's the Fenrir. All right, this will be a good test to see how well these do. I mean, we're going to kind of like try and use this pull to protect ourselves. What is hitting? Look, what is that? I don't know if that's just like an effect from his weapon, but it looks like something's just zapping me. All right, so using these pulls here to defend yourself and kind of hide like this is a really good way to do things. And let's zap, zap that dig on. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on, miss. Yes, we finally got him. That Fenrir was pretty tough, right? These weapons are doing a really good job. Oh, one shot kill. Oh, somebody else was shooting. That wasn't just me there. So let's check out what happens when we shoot this Titan. I mean, this isn't fair right now. You can't access this because there's there's more people shooting them than just me. So this doesn't really count. Don't pay attention to how much damage we're doing to the Titan because, yeah, you're never going to know when there's several people shooting them how much of it actually came from you. But uh, right there, that was all me. It did, a, Yeah, that did a nice amount of damage. Nobody was shooting him at, at that second, and it, it did take a nice little chunk of his health away, so that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. But where is he going? I guess there's too many of us over here. He's like, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and leave. <laughs> I mean, it is a team death match, so it doesn't matter. But if I were him, I would have just jumped straight up and down and landed and damaged everybody who was around him. You get him, get him, get him. Oh man, what the heck was that? <laughs> I saw like a little piece of something fly up in the air right there after that guy blew up. So there's only two people left on this team. So our team is dominating this death match. I'm gonna get crazy. I mean you shouldn't you shouldn't take a Titan a Typhon. You should not charge in at a Titan when you're playing a Typhon. That was a tongue twister. Alright. I mean, a Titan will womp you, right? If he's got if he's got strong weapons on that thing, he's gonna womp you. The good news is, like, I do notice that he's kind of distracted. He, he's not really he's not really shooting at me. I'm not really sure why. Like, I'm not really sure what he's doing because he's firing at me a little bit and then he stops and I I don't know. I can't figure out why that Titan's doing what it's doing right now. It doesn't really make sense. I mean. Maybe he's, I don't know. I just don't know. But yeah, we got ourselves a nice little shield. Now, one thing I do notice is these, these weapons don't charge your Titan very fast, and they don't really seem to charge your mothership super fast. So that's the one drawback of these. I mean, there's, there's certain weapons where you can have a Titan out in the first 30 seconds of the game, or get mothership after mothership after mothership. And with these ions, that, that's one thing you're not actually getting is a fast charge on the mothership or your titan so that is like really the only negative thing i can think of about these is yeah they don't charge anything up quickly which kind of sucks but besides that pretty darn good all right so let's go and uh let's go and zap these guys bam assist that poor dude just keeps dropping his last oh there's two of them up there all right there's another titan yeah, I mean, that did really good damage. I think I was the only one shooting that Titan right there, and it did take away a nice chunk of his health. So, yeah, look at that. Oh, oh. You poor, you you poor little luchador. I feel bad for you. <laughs> oh, that's got to hurt. That's got to hurt. All right, hold on. That's got to hurt really bad right there. Okay, so he's dead. <laughs> oh, man, he's dead. He's, he's dead. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, man. All right, hold on. Let's go over this way. Oh, we hit him with the thingy dingy, and he's gone. He's gone. It sucks when you're the last player left, but I think this was a. I think this game had a really good rep representation of how much damage these weapons actually do. Let's check out the scores. Um, what do we get? 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 Come on, hurry up! Hurry up, loading screen. I want to see my scores. All right, 10.3 million damage, 7 assists, 13 kills. That was crazy. So I'm going to make sure these guys were mainly Champion League players and not like experts or something. And if that's the case, if they're all Champion players, we're going to go ahead and post this game and use it. So yeah, anyways, let's go play another one. All right, so we are going to go ahead and drop in one of these Ion robots. I think we're going to start off with Mr. Fafnir, right? We're going to start off with the Fafnir. 
and we're gonna head on over this way and the weird thing is i was trying to find the traditionalist skill on the fafnir and i could not find it like it, it's like it's gone i don't know if the special edition models of fafnir don't have it but it it's not there anymore and i don't really know why but hey it is what it is so we're playing the regular fafnir today but this should be fun this thing takes some skill to play oh those those look like they're hitting really hard right there so the last couple of games I played, I hope this one's not the same, the enemies were so squishy, it was unreal. I mean, they were just like, I mean, I was getting like 22, 23 kills, just whomping on them, just zap, one shot kill, zap, one shot kill. And when I looked at the, the leagues, the players were kind of like lower leagues, so I'm not going to use that footage. All right, so right there, we shot that guy, absolutely nothing happened. I don't know if he's like in a phase shift or something. Let's hit him again. We're not even taking down his shield. That's really weird. We should have at least been hitting that guy's shield. So let's try and get that guy. All right, bam. Come on, get him, get him, get him. So I'm taking some major damage. I seem to be stuck up here. All right, and I need to land. When you're playing the Fafnir, the thing you want to do is land the second your purple shield goes down if you're not charged up because you're really squishy when, when you're in the air. Man, I'm taking some damage. This is terrible. All right, so we are off to a very bad start on this game. They kept locking me down every two seconds. It's like lockdown, lockdown, stuck, lockdown, lockdown. So that one sucked. Hopefully we can make a comeback, right? Let's go ahead and drop in Mr. Uh, Typhon. Let's go ahead and drop in Mr. Typhon and see what this bad boy can do. Typhon's still one of my favorite old robots. I mean, this guy is, this guy is a beast. The weird thing is, like, sometimes this robot feels really durable. Sometimes it doesn't. So right now I just keep shooting people that are back behind things, so hopefully this game gets better. So if I choose, if I do choose this video, that means the game got better, right? It wasn't all this boring the whole time. <laughs> Let's find out. So we're, we're off to a really slow start. We need to, I think we're going to go rush back in there. They're all camping in the back, so yeah, let's, uh, let's go back there. I think we're going to, all right, we need to get that beacon really quick. This robot... Probably shouldn't be doing this. Ah, nice. We got a kill, but bam! Dang, I just took a lot of damage. Freaking motherships hit me. It's kind of weird, but the gravity amplifier doesn't seem to work as well as it used to. All right, so that did pretty nice damage. Nothing too crazy. Let me hit the mothership and heal myself. Let's hit that guy with the ability and zap him with the lasers. He's almost dead. Somebody's on our left, so we're going to have to deal with that in a second. Let's kill this guy first. I don't know if, I hope I got some teammates back here because right now I don't know if I can deal with that guy that, oh he was on the right not the left I'm sorry that almost that guy's last stand saved him Ooh, he's dead but bam mashed him up bashed him up all right so now now I think we're gonna start charging into the center we got to get that beacon back hopefully hopefully whatever happened behind us I saw somebody pass us on the right hopefully there's a teammate back there but Right now, we need the center beacon. We can always get center or home back really easily, but we need to get that center first and foremost. Oh, God, that's some damage. What is that thing right there? Man, that's taking some... Whoa, that was a lag kill, but we, we killed a Titan with a couple of shots. That's nasty. That's nasty. So if you shoot somebody and it doesn't seem to damage them and they die like three seconds later, that's because you're lagging. You got the lag. The laggy, 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 lag, lag. All right, let's drop in another Typhon and head back there again. Typhon's kind of a squishy robot, guys. Typhon's kind of a really squishy robot, but, you know, it's fun to play. It's, it can move pretty fast. There's certain pilot skills where you can remove your ability, and you can either get extra damage, or you can move unbelievably fast where you're just running across the map. But, honestly, with this particular set of weapons, I think if you can hit somebody with the lockdown and EMP, and then blast them that's probably a better choice i mean some it depends on the weapons you're running these weapons here you get like one shot and then you have to reload but the reload is really fast on these what is the reload like four seconds five seconds yep five second reload not too bad i don't mind having a uh i don't mind a five second reload anything over five seems a little bit long to me it used to be like everything at a 10 second reload all right there's a ball. We're just going to stand on this beacon and not worry about it too much. But, uh, yeah. Get out of here, Mr. Ball. 
Let's see if we can get him. So these weapons, I've noticed, don't seem to damage the Skyrooms. This is one of the reasons where, where I say if you're a free-to-play player, you might want to think about building a Skyros because, I mean, look how much trouble we're going to have getting this guy off of our beacon, right? It's kind of a it's kind of a lame robot, right? It doesn't really do much but roll around in the ball, but, you know, when you're free to play, there's only so many choices you can get in the workshop to build. And not all, I mean, there's a lot of things in there, but not all of it are good. There's like a handful of really good robots. So if your goal is to have something for grabbing or holding or just setting on beacons, you can't kill those things, right? They're very, very strong. I mean, they're not going to do any damage, but they, they will hold a beacon. And on beacon games, it's actually very important to hold beacons. I mean, that's more important than kills and damage. Kills and damage don't mean crap on a beacon game unless you destroy everybody on the other team. But generally, beacon games are won because, you know, your team got the first three beacons and set on them and held them, and bam, your team wins because you held the three beacons for 50% of the game, right? So, who cares if you get kills or damage? It doesn't matter. I mean, when I play a Skyros, I don't even break a million damage half the time. I just set on a beacon, and that, that can win games if you're, if you're good with the Skyros and go to the right spots with it. Now, if you go to the wrong spots, well, that's probably not going to help you out too much, but yeah. Anyways, I'm rambling on. Let's go ahead and shoot this guy over here. But there's plenty of really good robots that you can build in the workshop. I mean, the Typhon's one of them. It's not one of, it's not one of the very, very, very best robots, in my opinion, to build in the workshop. But it's pretty darn good overall. At least in my opinion. Alright, so let's go ahead and, uh, what do we want to do here? We need to get some beacons back really quick. We need to get these beacons, guys. Alright, so they've stolen center again. And I'm over here talking about the Skyros and not paying attention to the beacons. Alright, I died. I think at this point we're just going to go ahead and bring out the Titan and finish this game off. And then we'll go play another one. But as you can see... They're doing pretty good damage, but I wouldn't say they're anything crazy, right? They're nothing crazy. They're just uh, they are a nice weapon. They fire often. They, they kind of shoot for a long time. That little electrical beam comes out, and they fire for a while. We'll look at the stats of the weapons after the battles, right? We'll, we'll actually look at the stats and see what they do. These are Mark III weapons, so we will check them out in just a minute. We'll play one more battle after this. Let's go ahead and wreck this guy. Come on, come on. Get, oh man, he he stole my beacon. You big jerk. Get off my freaking beacon, you turd sandwich. That was my beacon. You are gonna die, sir. You are gonna die. I'm a titan. You're not. You are d -d 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 dead. Bam. All right, he's escaping. Let me, uh, I guess he's not. Well, maybe, uh, oh wait, he's coming back. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, he is dead. I thought I was gonna get away for a second. Nope, we got him. All right, so let's get up in the air and trash these guys over here on the right. So as you can see, though, I mean, the weapons hit pretty hard, but they're they're nothing special. They're good weapons. Don't get me wrong. I really enjoy playing them. I like them. I mean, some of these games, like I said, we just, we just whomped on everybody. I've been having some really high damage games. Um... I mean, some of those games, the damage was like 17 million, and we didn't even bring out the Titan. So they are doing big damage, right? They're doing big damage. Now, if you're trying to shoot like a Fenrir with them, it's a little hard to damage something like a Fenrir. So I think, I think certain robots, I think on certain robots, they just excel, and on depending on what you're shooting. When you're shooting certain robots, they excel, and on others, not so much. All right, so there we got 7 million damage, 9 kills. Not too bad. Came in first place. Can't complain too much. So those were some really fun games. The weapons are performing quite well. They're not crazy overpowered in my opinion, but they do a little more damage than your average weapon. Now, there's nothing really special about these. There's no crazy abilities other than if you're going into the PvE, which is like you versus the spiders on extermination mode, they will get 50% more damage on extermination mode only, but not in regular battles. They do 4,380 damage per shot. They have a 600 meter range, a 5 second reload, and that's really about it. So yeah, they're, they're nice weapons. I like them. They're fun. They were, they were enjoyable to play. 
and you'll probably like them too if you get a set. The good news is they're not like obliterating everybody on every game. Now, if I go up against the squishy people, sure, it kills all the squishy people, but going up against players who are like evenly matched, or evenly leveled as me, they perform good. They're, they're very, very good. So as of right now, I would definitely say they just feel like a very nice, well-rounded set of weapons. I liked playing them. I had a lot of fun. It was a good time. And they're not crazy overpowered, which is really, really nice. They're just a little stronger than your average weapons. So I would say they did a really good job of making these ultimate weapons. And they got them balanced pretty well for being an ultimate weapon. So very cool weapons. Anyway, I think it's going to wrap the video up. Thanks for watching so much. You guys are amazing. If you drop down the video's description, you'll see the uh, War Robots web shop link. You'll see my Discord server, my other YouTube channels, some affiliate links, ways to help support the channel. And you'll see some game news and some other stuff you might be interested in. So drop that down. Check that out. We will catch you next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are super duper amazing. I appreciate each and every one of you. And huge shout out to all my channel members. Thank you guys so much for the extra support. If you want to be one, just click the little join button right below the video. All right. Thanks. Lightning out. See ya. Adios.